Hello everyone, this is Jack with Obedia. Today we're going to be taking a look at Pro Tools and some of the different workspace options. Let's get started. Before I actually jump in here, I want to mention that I'm using Pro Tools version 2018 1.0. If you're watching this video in the future at some point and there's a different newer version, there may be some new options, or if you have an older version of Pro Tools and you're watching this video, you may not see some things or uh, things may be in different places. So I just want to mention that. Today we're going to be looking at the workspace options in Pro Tools. So if we come up here to Window and we go to New Workspace, we will see, we can click on this and then we will get this workspace window. In this window, we have a variety of different things that we can do. We can go pretty deep with this workspace, so uh, we're not going to get into all of the features today, but we are going to touch on some of the most popular ones. So first of all, this is a good file browser for Pro Tools. So uh, like some of the other DAWs, for instance, Studio One or Cubase, you have some different options as far as pulling files into the DAW from outside. So maybe you have a folder uh, with some uh, samples in it, or maybe you have some tracks that you want to pull in. And we can do that a variety of ways. Uh, just like with any DAW, we have uh, of a lot of options there. But with Pro Tools, we have this workspace. So one thing that uh, a lot of people use is just coming down to your file browser and going to something like the desktop. And you can see here I have uh, a sample pack, which is just one-shot samples. Uh, I have the session folder for this session that I'm in, and then I have some vocal tracks. And what I can do here, if I was just going to bring in these vocal tracks to the session, you can see as I'm browsing these files, I have four vocal tracks. I can see the name, the kind of track it is, uh, size, all of that information. This is a little bit more audio-centric than just looking at it in Finder. So if I go to Finder uh, and then I go here to Vox Tracks, um, in this situation, I can see some information, but not quite as much as I see in the workspace. Uh, the other thing I can do is just monitor this. So in this case, you can see that this track uh, has some dead space at the top, so that's not necessarily going to help me too much. In this window, I can then select these four vo uh, vocal tracks, and then I could just drag them over here to my tracks list, uh, just drag and drop them, and you can see I've just imported these four vocal tracks into the session. So that's one way to import audio uh, into your session. Of course, you can do things, uh, you can import audio through Shift-Command-I, and you get the import audio window. You could also... Uh, just drag files in from Finder. You could just have Finder open and drag these files over here the same way. However, uh, some of those options uh, may not suit your workflow and, and you may be a little bit more um, suited to this workspace idea. If we hit option J, we will bring up our workspaces and you can see two of them just popped up here. If we go to the window, we can continue to grab different workspaces and set things up. And there's a, a specific type of view of the workspace called the sound base, which allows you to search samples, uh, which we will see in a moment. Uh, I'm just going to use one to make sure that it's uh, a little clearer for everybody that's watching that's new to this. Um, so the, that's one thing that we can do is pull in audio tracks that we're going to add to the session. Another thing that we can do is search for samples. This is another reason that you would pull stuff into Pro Tools or pull audio into Pro Tools. And I have this one-shot sample library here, uh, but one thing that I can do is right-click on that and and add sound library location. So then over here on the left, I can uh, have just a kind of like a, a bookmark uh, list of all of the different locations on my computer that I have samples in. So maybe you have samples on your desktop or you have samples that you put in your downloads folder that you're going to keep there, or you have them in documents or multiple hard drives. You can browse uh, through your, your computer this way. And then once you see a folder that you like, you can add sound library location and now you have it as kind of like a bookmark list. Then once you do that, uh, you can come down and j just choose whatever sample you want. In this case, uh, I can listen to the samples this way. It will loop up here or I can turn that on or off. Maybe I just wanted to, to play once. Uh, I also get a nice little waveform um, display here and then the duration and all of that kind of stuff, the date that it was indexed. Um, and then I can also in situations with like loops and Rex loops and that kind of stuff, I can choose this. This doesn't necessarily apply to this right now. Uh, but if I come down here to loops and I see in my session, I've got a uh, tempo of 125, I can go to, for instance, this superhero loop. And now I'm previewing that at 125, where I can turn that option off and I can just preview that at its normal, at its normal tempo. Or, 
So that's kind of nice because then your loops that you you have might not be in the right tempo um, for the song that you have, and you can sample them or, or preview them rather in the specific tempo of the song. And then if I wanted a loop like this, all I would have to do is either drag it over here, or I could, uh, let's say I choose maybe this one here, I could just drag this into the session on a track that I already have. Maybe, maybe you have like a miscellaneous sound effects track or something like that, and you just drag those files there. So this is a nice way of getting audio into Pro Tools, and there's a variety of different presets and um, different links to other uh, locations that you can add here. Of course, if you don't have a million different samples and you're kind of more of the recording uh, side of things where you just plug in mics and you record, this may not be that useful to you, but if you're doing like beat production or any kind of uh, Foley or post-production work and you need to bring in samples or, or any kind of audio file into this session, the workspace is a good way to do that. Uh, not only can you preview the audio and see some waveforms, uh, but you can add different locations to, for instance, the sound libraries list, uh, and that way uh, you can get to things a little bit faster. Uh, you can also see a meter up here, of course, and you can change the monitor volume of whatever you're monitoring. Maybe you have a really loud loop or something like that. Of course, if I was going to search for something like OG effects, uh, I could search OG effects, uh, and then if I know that's the, the sample or the loop or the file I'm looking for, it's kind of a file browser that I can use as well. So there's a lot of different options here. We will have more videos that go into all of the different workspace and browser options, uh, especially with uh, the different uh, sam samples that come with Pro Tools. Uh, when you buy the regular 2018 version, you get a big sample library. Uh, so we'll talk about that and then how to install and manage those things. But this is just an introduction for the workspace. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching and make sure you check out our other videos on YouTube. Thanks. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.